before I let you up out of here, I got to tell you, because you, you you mentioned people dying and, and you mentioned some key figures um, that are both nationally known, but definitely known to us in the industry. Uh, Mike Gidwan, we just lost him. <laughs> Shaka yes. Zulu, what he's going through. Um, you know, Dolph. It, it's so we can go. It, but we talked about Memphis taking over this scene, right? Mm -hmm. Musically. But at the same time, Memphis is taking over this music thing. It's so damn violent down there. Like, what is your thoughts on both losing Dolph and Tyree Nichols? Man. You know, that one hurt the soul of this country watching that, that video. It did. Seeing how them cops did that boy. Like, what, what's your thoughts on it? You know, I love my city, I love my state, but to get to the love, you gotta get through the hate. And the hate, the hate in Memphis is, it's, it's like nothing I've ever seen, man. I mean, what you see when, if you watch those videos, not even just the part where he's beating Tyree, when they're beating Tyree, the parts, the other parts leading up to it, when they were all just kind of talking about what they did, and how they was hitting this man, how they were cooperating their stories. Like, yeah, he reached for my gun. Yeah, he must be high. He must be on something. And all that, all of them sitting there corroborating their stories, all of them talking like some real gangsters. And these are people with badges. And man, dude talking about my hit that boy with everything I had, he still didn't go down. Like they, he, they just sitting around beating this man. And that mentality, that energy, bro, it, it grows, in, it just, it grows in Memphis. It's the same energy that killed Martin Luther King. It's the same energy that when Penny Hardaway got shot in the foot before he went pro, a lot of people don't know about that, but just all the nigga hating on him in, in, on, on the court, you know what I mean? And somebody shot him in the foot right before he went pro. Like this, this is Penny, this is Anthony Hardaway, one of the greatest players that played the game, you know what I mean? And it's like, you have people with that mentality there. You know, I've seen people do a lot of just just bad things to people for no reason. And when you give them a badge and give them a little a little position or whatever, bro, it's going to go that direction. You know what I mean? Um, Dolph, Dolph was hated by, you know, as much as he did for the city, he was hated by, he's hated by a lot of people too. You know, wow. it's just, that's the nature. And, of and, the, and the reason I ask you this, you from there. Yeah, it's the nature but everything of that. we ever heard about Dolph was he's a family man. Awesome. Dolph took care of the, he took care of the hood. Matter of fact, when he was killed, he was down there for charity. Yeah, listen, it's you have individuals there that the the hate is just is just different, bro. It's a small city. It's a it's a the line between the have and have nots is very, very far. But the problem is that it's a small city. So if you're doing well, we're not like in Atlanta. You're not in New York. You're not in LA. You're doing well. Man, you dog got all these cars that are all all shrink wrapped a certain color, a certain way. It's hard to miss this man if you're yep. in the city. You know what I mean? So it's different if you're doing well, but you tucked and niggas don't really see you every day. Nah, Memphis, you gon' see. It takes 15 minutes to get anywhere to from here to there. So you're gonna see your op. You're gonna see them. You see what I'm saying? And and, and every day of you there and you put it in their face, it's make it's just like the old boy from our belly. I don't like that shit. I don't like, you know what I mean? It's it's the, it's, it's that vibe. You know what I mean? And that's the energy that you face with. And people just it's just it's just a it's a sickening disease man it's a disease and it's there and and people love the violence just look at our 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 our, our team song for memphis for the grizzlies last year it was whoop that trip that was that's our that's what they singing on on national tv when we playing whoop that trick well you know that's what we no disrespect to my boy al capone and what the song was for for hustling the flow dope but I'm just saying that gives you a light into the mentality, the violence. Memphis chooses violence. You know what I'm saying? That's what off the walk. Myth, the females, the males, they choose violence. You know what I mean? Before the being calm and being, it's the penitentiary full of, 
And then when you don't have a lot of money and people are getting so much money and that's so much is, is just, you on the gram, you seeing it every day. You go to money bag, he's showing bags, showing stacks like this every day on his, on his page. All the artists showing stacks like this every day, every day, every day, in your face, in your face, on the gram, on your phone. And then you at the house and you go outside, they pulling up on you and it's in your face. If you are a hater, you can't take it. They, 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 they're going to do something to get it from you. We sitting there watching the same thing with the extension, the extension trial that's going on. You know what I mean? These dudes see yep. dudes with $50,000 and they go take it and immediately they take the money and go back on the ground so they could be the nigga with the $50,000. It's like, what is $50,000? It's going to be, it's not even enough money. But it's saying like, it's just the thing about these individuals that I see that are just so hurting and do not have, and they're willing to be the shooter. And then the music glorifies the drillings and the killings and being the shooter. So if you go to Graham, this nigga got all the money, you go outside, all the cars, and, and then you're listening to music and they're telling you the man to drill these niggas, shoot these niggas, kill these niggas, and you don't have a strong mind, man, you finna go do what you, you finna go do that because you wanna be the next person with that. You know what I mean? And that's what's going on, bro. Attention is a very, very dangerous drug, man. It just is, bro. And people it don't really care. is, man. It really is. And it's Dang unfortunate. Um, Dangerous. Truth of the matter is, we 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 are in a position where hip hop, hip hop itself, it's the number one selling, the number one streamed, the mm -hmm. number one genre of music on planet Earth right now. Yes, we decide it's, what's cool. We decide what's cool. Um, and it's so unfortunate that so much hate comes with it. And, and you know, people who made it out the streets are unfortunately so close, you know, two degrees of separation and they're still falling victim even after they made it up out the streets. But, um, you know, Kia, it's been my pleasure, man. Um, you know, sitting down, chatting with you for a little bit. You got a lot of history, a lot of wisdom, brother. Continue to share, continue to lift up your city, and um, you know, the best of luck, many blessings and success to you. And, and, you. and you know, I know you touched on this earlier, but I can't even leave here without saying RIP, um, Gangsta Boo, man, another yeah, man. one from your oh, city that's man. gone way too early. You know, uh, RIP Gangsta Boo, RIP, uh, Big Scar, um, definitely. Um, if you are using substances out there right now i want to say this real quick before i slide out two things one if we're not in the same era anymore to where you can go do something outside and not be caught because there's somebody's filming you right okay you're also not in the same era where you could be taking recreational pharmaceutical drugs right now that era is past you can't go just pop you some molly or pop you some whatever appeal or you know, you, you ate the fake perk because you and you knew you knew it wasn't real because you was a gremlin. You could die that way. You know what I mean? Right. You, you gotta recognize that man. We in a different era, and the, and the morals of the street game is not the same. You know what I mean? People care about the money. And your life is just is cheap right now. Okay. Also, too, man, I just want to say that uh, I got two movies coming out this year. One is called uh, They Clone Tyrone with Jamie Foxx, Keeper Sutherland, John Boyega. Comes out on Netflix on July 21st. So save the date because I'm in that thing and that's coming. And there's another one um, with Dwayne Johnson um, called Red One that you'll be seeing me in with The Rock. Um, it's a Christmas horror movie that's coming up. And the last thing is there's a movie called Half Baked Two, the sequel that's coming out. And I'm in that thing too. So make sure y'all, you know what I mean? Check me out on the acting side of things as well. You know what I mean? Absolutely, my brother. Peace and love to you. We definitely Thank gonna you. check those out. Thank you, man. I appreciate your time, son. Keep doing what you're doing, bro. Likewise, brother. All right, blessings. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.